Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to run PHP and Visual Studio Code with Zem. So let's start. So for this, we need two extensions. One is PHP Intelligence and the second one is PHP Server. So we'll go to the, these extension tab and here I search for Intelligence and it is this first one. And if we go down here, the installation method is given. So I go to extensions and search for this disable PHP PHP leave language basics so I'll copy this and I will search it in this extensions and it will search is we will disable this PHP language features so I'll disable this now we will remove this and we will again search for PHP intelligence this one and I'll install this now it is installed so I'll close this and I'll search for PHP server so this first one and I will install this now both PHP server and PHP intelligence is installed so I'll close this and I'll uh, close these extensions as well I will uh, open file explorer I will add in a new file so I'll name this index.php and hit enter now we have created our index.php file so now we will go to this index.html file I'll copy this code from here and we will paste it right here now here I'll uh, give a h1 tag and this is php demo close this h1 tag here I will open a php PHP tag so PHP and here I'll close the PHP tag inside this I can write my PHP code so here I will write echo hello to everyone from PHP and I'll control as this now I'll right click on this PHP server server project so if I click on this so it is saying us that PHP not found it is giving us this error so I already installed XAMPP server but we haven't set the path for PHP if I come here this PC and to see and to zem and to php and i will copy this path and i will set this path in environment variable so i'll close this now if i come here and uh, search for environment variable so i'll click on this environment variables under this system variables we will come to this path and edit this now i'll add a new path and i will control v this now i'll click ok click ok click ok again now if i again run this project php uh, server server project so it will again show me this PHP not found error. Why? Because we haven't reloaded Visual Studio code and it has it has not taken the path or loaded the path. So I'll close this and I will relaunch this. So now it, uh, it is open. So if I maximize this, now this is our file index.php. Now if I right click on this and uh, again PHP server, server project. So I'll click my browser always. And now you can see this is PHP demo and hello to everyone from PHP is printed here. So in this way you can run uh, PHP in Visual Studio Code or you can set up PHP in Visual Studio Code. I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.